Ken Trahan with Timmy Bird of Riverside Academy, at least for now, because Timmy, you got some news to break to people that obviously is going to surprise a lot of people, and that is you're going to be moving on from Riverside. Tell us about it. Yeah, Ken, it's, you know, it's, it's just time. Uh, I'm going to finish out the year, and then next year, uh, uh, you know, brought Marty uh, Luquette in to replace me as AD, and uh, got my uh, assistant Donovan uh, Marilyn, uh, been grooming him for uh, about four or five years. He's going to take over the basketball. And uh, I just feel good about uh, now's the time. Uh, I think the, the program's in good shape. Um, you know, uh, got a lot of people to be thankful for. Um, and thank um, my longtime assistant coach in basketball, uh, Kevin Branch, just been terrific. Um, you know, Thomas Hemel and, and Renee Loving having the courage to bring me in as the athletic director when it wasn't the most popular move because people thought it was going to become just a basketball school. And uh, we made the commitment as, as an athletic department, made the commitment to try to make all our major sports contenders, which we did. And, uh, you know, was able to bring in uh, Bill Stubbs and, and Frank Cazzo to win state championships in football and and uh, be able to play the, the best competition in, in, in the state. Uh, you know, the, played the Rummels. So we played, you know, um, Hawnville. And you just had a really good schedule. So, you know, we've accomplished a lot at Riverside, uh, but you just know when it's time. And, and, and the time for me is now, and it's time for me to move on and, and look for uh, – a different opportunity. Clearly, the last statement is what matters. You're not done with coaching. You plan to coach again. Well, you know, if you had asked me this two or three years ago, I, I might have said, well, I don't know. But, uh, you know, the my, my basketball team this year, the way they just, just played their hearts out and, and just gave themselves every day in practice and in games, you know, I just really enjoyed uh, – uh, coaching them and and I realized that you know what this this is this is my uh, this is a way for me to this is my mission this is a way for me to uh, you know have a ministry and uh, it, it's 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 a way for me to uh, uh, to give back it's a way for me to make an impact in in young people's lives and you know my wife's a 33 year uh, public school teacher and uh, this is our ministry. This is this is what we do. And so, um, as long as I, I'm healthy, um, you know, I can see myself coaching for another 10, 20 years. Uh, so, and and until God shuts that door, uh, I'm going to continue to coach. And He hadn't shut that door yet. On the high school or college level, uh, either one. Um, I'm I'm going to keep an open mind. Um, you know, right now the preference is to. Uh, uh, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say it's a preference, but you know, I'm open to. Uh, first and foremost, I want to coach basketball, and if that's as an assistant at the college level, uh, that's great. Uh, or if it's uh, to continue on in high school, um, I, I know the blueprint of of what works for us. Uh, we've been blessed with a tremendous amount of success over the last 26 years and um, um, we're going to keep we're going to let God show us the door that we need to go through when you think about the success that Jared Butler and Baylor had this year it was special I want you to comment on that but I also want you to comment on the fact that you actually had a chance to go to Indianapolis and witness that national championship and how special that was yeah you know um I was I was I'd already bought my ticket and then uh, my mom got sick and and um, caused a few problems and and I'm just grateful to Coach Drew and and Coach Tang and Jared uh, trying to get the ticket. We ran into some compliance problems and then on top of that, Jared's mom and dad, you know, tickets were a thousand dollars and and they were generous enough to to want to help buy the ticket. And so uh, I'm just grateful to uh, having parents like that. But it didn't work out. Um, but I got to watch it on TV and uh, was able to spend the last two, three weeks uh, watching March Madness and specifically watching uh, Jared and his run in the, in the championship. And, uh, you know, what a great kid. Uh, couldn't happen to a better uh, person 
you know, graduating in three years uh, at Baylor, um, has been just a model citizen. He's just an all-American kid. Uh, Going to go down and and uh, uh, and be, and, and be, Baylor's uh, annals is the best player to ever come through there. Um, first team consensus all-American, MVP of the uh, title game. Just uh, God's really blessed him, and it couldn't happen to a nicer kid. And and really, Jared is is the embodiment of the kids we've had in our program. Um, high character, uh, good student, uh, and a kid that serves as opposed to being a taker. And uh, we've had a lot of great uh, players that uh, are just like Jared. And, and, and people know, you know, I think, what, 30 kids go to co went to college. But it's the kids that did not move on to play college that made our program what it is. And when you see Jared, that's who our other kids are. Um, just kids that sacrifice, kids that uh, want to make the the program uh, look uh, professional and 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 have a class about it, and and have that attitude that you know we're going to play harder than everybody. When you think about players over the years, you've had so many great ones. The guys that stand out to me, Tweedy Carter, of course, at Reserve Christian, comes to mind as the first great player. That's your coach, but you had Malik Crowfield, who was terrific. Rico Gathers prior to that, who made a lot of noise and generated a lot of interest. And most recently, Jared, among others. I bet you can't pick one, but best players you've ever had. Well, you know, we, we, we do kind of rank them based upon, you know, Tweety Carter was by far the best. I shouldn't say by far because Jared and, and Ricardo are, are close uh, second and third, but Tweety Carter – all-time leading uh, scorer in high school history, you know, 7,400 points. Did that over six years, uh, but second over four years. And, uh, you know, he was a McDonald's All-American in high school, so you got to say he was my best high school player. Well, my best overall player was Jared, and, and Tweedy and I used to talk about it, and Tweedy will tell you, you know, Jared could have – played almost two years when he was a sophomore in college he could have played been a senior at, at at Riverside so because of his age Jared you, you have to give it to him he was the best player uh, and he's proven that in college um, but we've had some tremendous players I mean Herb McGee Vaughn Julian Lucas Martin you know Lewis Dabney I mean Lewis Dabney at Tulane uh, all conference uh, in the American Conference uh, second team um, so we, we've been blessed with just a lot of great players. I mean, George Brozos went to Furman, had a great career. I mean, you just go down the list. Um, you know, and then the last guy, Gage Larvidane. I mean, Gage Larvidane averaged over 27 points a game this year. You know, just had a tremendous career for us. Just didn't play with the supporting cast that some of those other guys did. But, you know, we, we, we had a lot of losses I shouldn't say a lot of losses, but a lot of our losses throughout the years have been the national teams. You know, we played that national schedule for a while. And, uh, but, but our program is player-led, and it's, a, it's, it's about our players. Speaking of which, the All-State Sugar Bowl National Prep Classic, you'll continue to run that tournament, correct? Absolutely. Ed and I, are, Ed and I are, along with y'all's help, um, you know we're we're gonna we're, we we're already on the map now. It's, it, it being a national tournament, and uh, now the goal is is to move it into that top two, top three best tournaments in the country. And and uh, I'm going to be even more focused on it now. And Ed and I are are, are just trying to um, you know we want to get it to you know where it's got a a four or five hundred thousand dollar budget, and it's the it's it's what everybody talks about when it comes to a national tournament. You got New Orleans here. Why not? Why don't you more things in terms of championships? Is there any one of the twelve that stands out more than any other? I mean, you think about the first, of course, at each school, perhaps. But is there any one where you overcame odds or beat a great team or whatever the case may be to make that stand out? You know, um, each one of them special, um, and they were all different. And how we accomplished them was was pretty phenomenal. Um, you know, probably the the year after 
Tweedy, um, the year after Tweedy graduated, um, we were da- we were a little down, and um, that team just totally overachieved. Our tallest guy was six foot on the starting uh, lineup, and they beat some teams that year that I don't know how we beat them. I, I just that team just scrapped. We had a great player in Edrin McCain. He was my only triple double guy in, in my my career as coaching, and he was a five eleven uh, guard that uh, went to Bradley and and was first team all freshman. But you know, um, there is not one. Um, they were all special, and they were all different teams. And you know, I I remember. I remember Vaughn, Vaughn and them's team when, when Jordan Andrews capped our uh, 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 state championship off uh, with a left-handed dunk. You know, that, that, that was special. That was a special team. But we went in phases, and, you know, that, that team, Vaughn Julian and, and Malik and, and Herb and, and Jordan, um, that was a special team. You know, um, Jared's team, when Jared was a senior, even though we got upset because, you know, when you lose your second best player to a, a ACL injury, kind of ripped the heart out of us. But Jared's team was special that year. Um, Tweedy's teams were special because we won national tournaments with them. A lot of memories at Riverside Academy and Reserve Christian for Timmy Bird. And I guess the moral to this story is you're not done yet. Uh, hopefully not. We're going we're gonna to let God make that decision, but uh, I don't plan on not coaching in the future. And you burn to compete. I, I just I, – I need that. I, 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 I've been competing since I was three years old, and, and I, I just uh, – my wife probably does not want me around the house without having that, uh, that, 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 that fuel to burn. Tracy, there's a coach for hire. You might want to put that out there on social media and start making phone calls to get him out of the house. Timmy, thank you. Ken, I want to thank you and, and Lenny. Uh, y- y'all have been tremendous. You know, what you and Ed do for uh, high school uh, sports are, are – uh, well, high school sports would not be what it is in New Orleans if it wouldn't be for y'all. Thank you, Coach. Wouldn't be the same without you coaching, so you need to get another job. Thank you. I appreciate that.